Choose the diatomic molecule ion that would have the least polar bond. A. Carbon monoxide. B. Hydrofluoric acid. C. Nitrogen. D. Cyanide ion. Anytime we are asked to compare molecules and choose which is the most or least in the group, there is usually some trend governed by the mo molecule's physical properties that we must know in order to answer the question. In this case, it's bond polarity. So we see that we are selecting the least polar diatomic molecule out of the choices. Let us consider the generic diatomic molecule AB, where atom A is less electronegative than atom B. Bond polarity manifests as a result of the differences in electronegativity of a bond's constituent element. The larger the difference in electronegativity between the two atoms in a bond, the more polar a bond is. When there is a difference in electronegativity between two atoms in a bond, the electrons are more attached to the more electronegative atom and spend more time on that side of the molecule. This gives the more electronegative atom a partial negative charge, and the less electronegative atom a partial positive charge. The presence of these partial charges results in a dipole moment that we represent visually by drawing a special arrow that points towards the more polar atom in the bond. For larger molecules with more than one polar bond, this arrow points in the direction of the net dipole moment if the individual dipole moments of each bond don't cancel one another out. A good place to start assessing bond polarity is to review the trends in electronegativity when we look at the periodic table. Recall that electronegativity is the ability of an atom to attract electrons. Keep in mind that we usually remove the noble gases from consideration when we talk about trends. Electronegativity increases from left to right in a row of the periodic table as nonmetals need to gain electrons to achieve the more stable noble gas electron configuration. Electronegativity increases as we move up a column in the periodic table as higher elements are less shielded from feeling the positive charge of the nucleus. This makes fluorine the most electronegative atom in the periodic table. To determine the polarity of the bonds in carbon monoxide, hydrofluoric acid, molecular nitrogen, and the cyanide ion, we need to assess the differences in electronegativity between the two elements in every bond. A quick and easy method to do so in this problem is to look at how far apart the elements in a bond are from one another vertically and horizontally in the periodic table. The further apart the two elements in the bond are, the more polar the bond is. We'll start with carbon monoxide, then hydrofluoric acid, then the cyanide ion. Finally, molecular nitrogen. Since molecular nitrogen's bond is between identical atoms, it is clearly the least polar. In fact, it is not polar at all. Therefore, the correct answer is choice C.